Reports the other top velocity.net doing a 3x pitch biometrics here of Nelson Luciano from the 3x velocity camp. Come out of his leg lift. You can see back leg is already internally rotated. I mean, if we looked at hip angle here, we could see left leg is 31 degrees internally rotated. Front side is open. Hips are even rotating. This is where we want to be counter rotated. Hips should still be in line with target or closed. There's separation between the trunk, but you can see the lower half going pretty early. So as, as he goes in the front foot strike, hits front foot strike, not going to have a lot of power behind the back hip. Um, it's going to have not going to peak the hips as well. And then you can see also the arm, as the arm cocked here before landing, uh, as, he, as he hit front foot strike, he was already going into external rotation, so he was a good... You know, 120 degrees, probably an external rotation at this point. So opening early like that, losing power through the hips, arm cocking early and laying back early, this is really going to hurt the sequencing coming up the chain, going hips, trunk to arms. You can see the first hump in the sequencing is blue hump. That's glove side. So glove side is starting rotation here. It's powering before hip rotation. It looks like hip rotation is going to come up with it, but you can see it stalls out and then it kind of peaks later here as the trunk comes around. So that's the collapsing of the back leg, didn't peak the hips well at all. And now you got the hip and glove side pulling together. There is some separation between trunk, but then you can see trunk and elbow, or yellow is throwing arm, is peaking together um, with it. So it's not sequencing that well. What we'd want to see is we'd want to see the red hump first blue and green together and then the yellow coming after and you can see the trunk and the and the yellow are coming together which means there's a slight more of a slight peak between the hip and trunk than there is between the trunk and the arm and usually that's the more obvious separation is the trunk and the arm if we look at the uh, just looking at the hip to shoulder line it's probably going to have a tell a better uh, give you a better picture of it you do see hips when early everything opens early but as trunk squares up and catches up to hip, you can see the arm, the elbows in front of the face. The arm's already pretty much going into pitch release at this point, and everything's vertical. Um, same time, too, front leg is extending, and it's so vertical that it's just standing, uh, standing Nelson up. So not much separation, causing also a big pull to glove side, continuing to rotate, pull off to glove side. If we look at um, the chest position, in the side position, it's at 47 degrees. That's excessive. So just a very rotational movement because everything came around slowly together uh, and, and, and went and wound up pretty vertical. So the key needs to be holding more external rotation, holding torsion, delaying hip rotation, um, and getting more power into front foot to drive the hip, cocking the arm later not allowing the arm to go into early external rotation. Um, and then ultimately with that more power to the lower half that carries the trunk forward ahead of the arm. And then you get more forward trunk tilt than you get uh, side bend. You can see forward trunk tilt is six, pretty much around pitch release. And uh, all the way to 53 degrees now here. So ultimately that would have pushed it in reverse the trunk to 53 degrees and the contralateral tilt maybe seven or you know somewhere around 15 is ideal and then you get a front leg out in a better position as well because you got more drive and then you're, you're not in such a vertical position you're in that good forward and, ex and ultimately your front leg is still getting extended so that would be the key i mean you're you're increasing the range of the trunk by say 40 degrees at that point that's what we talk about the runway analogy that's giving you way more time to accelerate force of the target before it goes into the ball that would be a huge jump in pitching velocity